Minasan, konnichiwa, sukushi toke, yakuso. Today we are at Zushi Hayama Station and I'm super excited to be here because it's my first time and I know that this is the perfect place to go if you want to visit the beach and just enjoy the beautiful summer weather. Anyway, if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get into it. Ooh. This is a really cute sign. It's massive though. <laughs> wow. It seems like there's a lot of stuff you can do here. I'm super excited. So we just took a short bus ride and now we are in the Hayama area and we're on our way to the morning market that's here on a Sunday. And look how amazing the ocean is. I'm so happy to be by the sea. It feels like it's been a while, to be honest with you. But yeah, it's a little cloudy at the moment, but we're hoping it'll clear up later. So we're at the morning market and it's very, very small, but very cute. It's here every Sunday and they have little food stalls and stalls selling all kinds of small things. It's lovely here. It's very friendly as well. I got ume soda. I got it from a really cute van and the man that worked there was really friendly and I'm excited to try this. Kanpai. That's so refreshing. <laughs> so this ume is actually from Shonan, which is this area. This is so refreshing. Ume is one of my favorite flavors because it's a little bit sour, but sweet as well. It's wonderful. It's such a fragrant flavor. And this is perfect for this weather. It's so refreshing with a light sparkle. <laughs> perfect. So this was only 250 yen and some of you may remember that last year I made ume syrup and I made ume soda with that. This is better than mine, <laughs> obviously, but it does make me want to do it again. I love it so much. <laughs> The next thing I have is a cup of coffee and it's quite big. I was quite impressed with the size. This is absolutely necessary for me right now. This market closes at 10 a.m. So we had to get here pretty early from Tokyo. Luckily, Zushi is not that far away from Tokyo, but still, it's very early in the morning. So I need this. Here we go, Kanpai. Oh. I really needed this. I like this coffee actually because it's not too strong. It's got quite a light flavor, but it still tastes like that hit of caffeine that you need in the morning. It's really good. There's nothing better than a fresh cup of coffee, truly. <laughs> Next, I have this gorgeous croissant and it looks beautiful. This is a really nice looking croissant. They had loads of different pastries there and there was quite a long line, which understandably so. A Sunday morning, of course you want a pastry. I'm really excited to try this, especially with my coffee. Let's do it. Itadakimasu. Mmm. That was delicious. It's so buttery and crumbly. It's perfect and you can see all the layers in there. It's really, really good. And I guess I should just try it with my coffee, right? Mm. That is the perfect breakfast combination. Coffee and a croissant, excellent. Mm. <laughs> oh shoot. It's really nice to have breakfast at a morning market, in the sun, by the ocean. It's like a dream. <laughs> so this area is actually the birthplace of yachts in Japan. And that's why there's so many here. And I want one. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think I ever would want a yacht until just now looking at all of these. How could you not want one? Wow. I should learn how to sail. <laughs> I 
One of my favorite things about Japan is easily the fact that there's mountains basically everywhere. And within those mountains, you can see houses as well. I will never get over that type of view. It's absolutely stunning. And you can see it right behind me. So we found one of quite a few beaches in this area. It's really hot today, but it is cloudy. So the beach doesn't look as good as it probably usually would. But to be honest, in weather that's hot like this, that's still pretty great. <laughs> it's actually really busy today as well. You can see people paddling on the water, on surfboards. There's loads of people sat on the sand as well. It's just really hot today. The only thing is the sun isn't out. That's all it is, but you can feel that it's there. <laughs> So we're currently on Nagisa Bridge and it's quite a long bridge actually, <laughs> but once you reach the end of it, you can get onto the beach. So let's go. We're finally on the beach and it's actually a really big beach. I'm quite surprised it spans quite a distance. But the interesting thing is right behind me in the clouds, you might have to look really hard, but you can actually see Enoshima because it's not far. It's only 10 kilometers away. And I think Kamakura is about four kilometers away. So we're quite close. If you wanted to have like a really, really beachy day, you could probably go to Zushi, Kamakura, and also Enoshima all in one day, which would be quite busy, but maybe a lot of fun. Maybe I should try it one day. Let me know down below if you think we should try and hit all the beaches in one day. The breeze is lovely it really really is i could easily sleep on this beach easily because it's just the perfect comfortable temperature and the breeze ah so good <laughs> so we're set on the beach and it's quite pleasant what's interesting is even though this beach is near tokyo less than an hour away in the uk our closest beach is brighton and it's very different because there's no sand it's pretty much all rocks and you don't usually see people doing activities in the water mostly because it's too cold but here you can see there's so many people in the water today doing paddle boarding just playing in the ocean it's really really lovely it really adds to the atmosphere also behind me there are some beach huts and i think they're not open for season yet because they're doing a lot of refurbishments on them but later in the summer when they open, they'll be serving things like kakigori, yakitori, beer. And I kind of want to come back and experience that. I would also love to come back on a day where it's not so cloudy, but I'm still enjoying myself. It's still really nice to be by the ocean when the weather's warm. We found a really cute cafe that serves kakigori. So let's go. We are currently at Hinata Beach Cafe and this place apparently it sells really delicious kakigori that we will try in a minute. I also got some really cool bags here. So I'll just show you them. This is the first one. It's really cute and it says Hayama Zushi on it as well. It's adorable. <laughs> this is the next one and it says Hinata Cafe with a cute little dog on it. I love these so much. They're so adorable. The sun is finally coming out and I'm really excited to eat some kakigori. We are also right next to the beach. The beach is literally right behind me. The first flavor I have is mint chocolate, which is one of my favorite flavors of anything sweet. And I can't wait to try it. So I'm just going to dig in before it starts melting. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Wow. <laughs> it's so refreshing and fluffy and light and it's just the ultimate summer treat. This is my first kakigori of the year. Mm. The minty flavor isn't too strong, which I really like. I think the chocolate is the stronger part of the flavor. It's so delicious. It's so, so good. The color of this kakigori is gorgeous. It's such a bright green, and green is my favorite color, by the way, in case you didn't know. So I love everything about this. It looks amazing. It tastes incredible. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm having the best day. It's melting so quickly. <laughs> oh. 
I ate it too quickly and now I have brain freeze. <laughs> this is the problem when frozen things are too delicious and you can't help but eat them really quickly. You end up with brain freeze. Okay, I think it's gone. I think it's gone. <laughs> this cafe is really nice. It's got that cozy beach vibe. There's loads of pillows that you can sit on. And it's just really lovely. There are loads of different flavors of khaki gori here as well. So I had the mint chocolate one. You can also get strawberry. I believe there's mango as well. And also caramel, which I nearly, nearly got. Uh, but I thought I would try mint chocolate since that's one of my favorite sweet flavors. And yeah, it's just really nice here, really cozy. It's great. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. I feel like I ate a lot of sweet things today, but I have no regrets. I've loved every single thing that I tried. I've also really had a fantastic time here in Zushi Hayama. It's my first time here. And even though the weather's been a bit cloudy, it's still really nice and really fun. Anyway, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. What is your favorite sweet thing to eat in summer? Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.